Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a project pan video. Um, I tried to do a project pan with my perfumes uh, a year or so ago um, and was not successful. I didn't hold to it at all. Um, doing the perfume trays I've noticed has really helped keep me uh, focused on trying out certain perfumes. So I've got some here that I would like to finish up. Some of them are travel, some of them are full bottles. Um, and the reasons being, some of them I actually, I either have a backup and I'm, you know, almost done with the one I have. So I want to get it kind of decluttered out of my collection to free up space. Um, and then others are travels that I want to have the full bottle of. I really enjoy having the full bottle over a travel spray and I like them enough to actually want to make the purchase and I'm trying to be better about using up my samples and my travels before I purchase the full bottle. So the first one I have is from Scent Bird and this is Cherry Punk. Let me show you what it looks like here. And I've only worn this a couple of times, but I really love this fragrance. Um, when it first like started popping up on social media, I wasn't that enthused because cherry has not been one of my favorite notes. I find it can be a little medicinal. Um, but then I saw that there was leather in here, so I was intrigued because I really like leather in fragrances. So this has a cherry, saffron, Sichuan pepper, mimosa, violet, jasmine, leather, tonka bean, and patchouli. So once I read the notes, I was actually very curious. So I got one from Scentbird. Um, and I love it. I want a full bottle, but I need to remember to use the travel. I always forget that I have it. So I'm going to put this in a project pan and try to get this used up before the end of the year so I can purchase um, a full bottle of Cherry Punk. The next one I have is a uh, Safanade from Parfums de Marly. Again, I would like a full bottle of this. It's a really beautiful orange blossom fragrance. So I am going to focus on using this up so I can bring the full one into my collection. I got that one from Scentbox. Another one from Scentbox, this is Inicio's um, Side Effect. So this is such a beautiful, intoxicating, uh, intoxicating, seductive fragrance in my opinion. There is um, notes of rum, vanilla, tobacco, did I say vanilla? Vanilla, tobacco, and cinnamon in here. And it just, it smells so good. I think it's so sexy. Um, and of all the fragrances I've sampled that have that kind of rum tobacco profile, I think this one might be my favorite. So I'd like to get through it so I can get a full bottle into my collection because those Inicio bottles are beautiful. The next one I have is a travel spray of the uh, Lancome Idole. And this is the nectar one so this is the one that has that caramel popcorn note in there so there's a lot of rose caramel popcorn i think vanilla in the base i'm not sure what else is in there um so far this is my favorite of all the idols and i already have the small 30 ml bottle so i just want to actually use up the travel you know, declutter that out of my collection and make space. I don't like having too many things, um, especially if I already have that perfume. It seems unnecessary to have the travel and the full bottle. And then I also have the Lancome Edol, the uh, original perfume. So I got this one first and I thought it was, it was pleasant, right? It's nice. I was like, oh, that's an easy, nice everyday you know, a scent to wear. It's a safe blind buy to gift to someone. I mean, provided that they like rose because there's a lot of rose in there. Um, but I wasn't wowed by it or anything, but I resprayed it recently and I like it so much more now than I did when I first tried it uh, last year. It's so good and it has, yeah, so it's floral but it's not headache inducing, it's light, it's airy, it's fresh, it's a little bit sweet. It's just, it's actually a very, very beautiful fragrance. I don't know that I would buy the full bottle after I use that up because I do have the nectar, but I wouldn't mind having the full bottle in my collection, but I also do find it similar to a couple other fragrances that I'm testing and I have either added or know I'm going to be adding into my collection. And I don't wanna to have too many things that are going to be redundant either. 
The next one I have is um, Giorgio Armani. See, this is the original one. Um, I have the full bottle of the Intense and I got the travel size because I had wanted to try it. I tried it years ago and didn't like it that much on my skin. It was pretty, but it didn't smell great on me. But um, I've recently revisited, I love, revisited it. I love it and I'd want a full bottle, but I won't buy one until I get rid of that travel. The next one I have is my Valentino Donna. Um, this is the Born in Roma. This is almost gone. I already have a huge 100 ml backup bottle, so I'd like to get through that um, by the end of the year. And then Baccarat Rouge 540, I'm a little more than halfway through now. Same thing, I have the big 200 ml bottle. Um, and so this, well, this is great for travel. I don't feel too, pressure to use it up because now that especially half of it's gone I can just throw this in my bag if I travel anywhere but I do want this to be used up by the end of the year so that the backup bottle isn't just sitting there not getting used up I love the way the big bottle looks the next one I have is Chanel a chance oh fresh this is a beautiful um flanker of the fragrance and this one is great for spring and summertime it has a lot of woody notes in there, but also some citrus in the opening, some pink pepper, some jasmine, some amber. It's just, it's a great one. It's so far my favorite of all the Chance flankers. I haven't tried them all, but this is, I decluttered a couple other ones and this is the one I kept. And I've had it for a while and I am definitely going to be putting this on my tray next month and getting through that bottle. I really enjoy it, but I don't want it to go bad because I haven't reached for it in like over a year. The next one I have is Kayali's Deja Vu White Floral, White Flower. Um, if you've watched a number of my videos, this pops up quite a bit. This is my favorite Kayali fragrance so far. This is the 50 ml bottle and it is almost gone. Um, I actually have been wearing it a lot. I've been doing some layering with it this past month and it's still holding strong. I have a backup 100 ml bottle um, that I'll start digging into as soon as this is gone. But this, I don't think it's gonna take me to the end of 2023 to get through. Um, I'd be surprised if it lasts to the end of May. But I do wanna get through that, get the bottle out of the way, and that way there's just the one um, deja vu big bottle in my collection taking up less space. The next one I have is uh, Kristen Dior's Pure Poison. And this is a beautiful, fresh, musky, white floral fragrance. There's some citrus, I believe, in the opening. There's gardenia, jasmine, and maybe tuberose. There could be another white floral. I think orange blossom is in here. And then some woody notes and some musk in the base. I love this fragrance so much. I'll forget about it from time to time, but then I come back and remember how much I love it. Um, so I'd like to get through the bottle because again, I've had it for a couple of years. It's almost gone and it's just taking up space sitting there not being used. And the last one I have is um, by Issey Miyake, and this is Lode Issey. I actually got this because my boyfriend said he really liked the way it smelled, so I got the little travel spray. Um, and there's a lot of great notes in there that I thought, oh, I'd absolutely love it. It smells so different than what I anticipated, but I've never actually just worn it out and about. I've only sprayed it on my hand. So I'm going to be adding this in, and I'd like to finish that up and kind of see how I like it. Do I want a full bottle, or do I want to try some of the other flankers? Okay, so here are the fragrances that I'm going to be focusing on project panning for from now till the end of the year. So I'm not going to put them on my perfume tray, but they will be mixed in with what I'm wearing month to month. Um, if you're doing any project pan, um, please leave that down below. If you have any recommendations based on what you see here, I would also appreciate that. Other than that, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. And I will do an update on this at the end of 2023, hopefully if I remember. Thank you. Bye.